the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God the Father, and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with you all. My dear brothers and sisters, we're gathered this morning to bid farewell to our dearest Moira. We thank the Lord for her long, full life. We thank her for what she was to her family in a very special way but also for her goodness and her kindness, and also for her love towards the Lord in a very special way throughout her life. We ask the Lord to welcome her into his heavenly kingdom and grant her now eternal rest. My dear brothers and sisters, let us prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries by calling to mind our sins and asking our Lord to have mercy on us. You were sent to heal the contrite of heart, Lord, have mercy. You came to call sinners, Christ, have mercy. You are seated at the right hand of the Father to intercede for us, Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Let us pray. Almighty God and Father, it is our certain faith that your Son, who died on the cross, was raised from the dead, the first fruits of all who have fallen asleep. Grant that through this mystery, your servant Moira, who has gone to her rest in Christ, may share in the joy of his resurrection. We ask this through our Lord Jesus. The response is, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He makes me lie down in green pastures. He leads me beside quiet waters. He restores my soul. Together, the Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He guides me in paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Even though I walk through the valleys of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, for you are with me. Your rod and your staff, they comfort me. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You prepare a table before me in the presence of my enemies. You anoint my head with oil. My cup overflows. Surely goodness and love will follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd. I shall not want. Please stand. Alleluia. says, I am the resurrection and life. Whoever believes in me shall never die. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus declared, I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry, and he who believes in me will never be thirsty. But as I told you, you have seen me, and still you do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me. And whoever comes to me, I will never drive away. For I have come down from heaven not to do my will, but to do the will of him who sent me. And this is the will of him who sent me, that I shall lose none of all that he has given me, but raise them up at the last day. For my Father's will is that everyone who looks to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life, and I will raise him up at the last day. This is the word of the Lord. 
Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Please be seated. I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never go hungry. And he who believes in me will never be thirsty. These words from the Gospel of John were words which accompanied our sister Moira throughout her life, throughout her old age in a very special way. Moments on a weekly basis that she would receive the Holy Eucharist at home or receive communion at home was always a moment of great comfort but also of great joy for Moira. She really and deeply loved the Lord and did all she could, I could imagine, throughout her life to, to please him in many ways. She was a woman of faith, a woman who believed very much in the beauty as well of Christian life, and also to accompany her even through her old age when the fragility of her, of her body would accompany her, but also at the same time the reassurance of the presence of the Lord was with her constantly. She was an example to all those, even though on the quiet of her home, maybe away from the public eye, away from everyone else, it was just she and the Lord many a times, and the moments that she could when visibility could allow her to see the, the sea in front of her. But more than that, it was the reassurance that she was never alone because the Lord was by her side. And I think this is also a very tangible sign of one's fate. A tangible sign that one really believes in what he or she is receiving at that point in time. I also would like to welcome to the celebration, so I forgot to do so at the very beginning, all those who are following as well from overseas. I learn it's from the United States, from Ireland, from the UK, Switzerland, many relatives of Moira who are spread around the world who are following and joining us as well for this service this morning. We welcome you and we invite you as well to join us in this moment of prayer. Our Lord continues to accompany, accompany us in our daily life. The Lord says, my Father's will is this, that everyone who looks at the, to the Son and believes in him shall have eternal life. And I am sure that Moira really believed in this. Although she lived a very long life, a life which was always full of different experiences, but at the same time, it was an opportunity for her to also be a witness in her own way, sometimes even through her own silence, through the whole, her own depth in being with the Lord, a witness to his love. And today we, we bid farewell. We thank the Lord for, for Moira. We thank the Lord for what she believed in, which I feel is the strongest um, witness that she could give, at least to us who used to visit her, both myself and Father Paul, um, on a regular basis to give her Holy Communion, to her, hear her confessions, to also anoint her with holy oil several times throughout the past months. She wanted to prepare herself in the best way possible for this beautiful encounter at the end of her earthly life, where she will be seeing her creator face to face, where she will be meeting him who has given her life, where she will be meeting him who has accompanied her throughout her long life on this earth. And therefore, we ask the Lord to really welcome 
this daughter of his with open arms to grant her not only eternal rest, but also grant her eternal life of joy and peace in the Lord's presence, so that she may really be now overjoyed to meet him whom she loved so much on the set, who she longed so much to meet. And we ask the Lord as well to accompany us who are still on our earthly journey, so that we may also understand in a deep way, in a way of that faith will accompany us to understand that our Lord is really the bread of life. And he who comes to him will never go hungry, and he who believes in him will never be thirsty. May our faith, which we have received at baptism, be the one to accompany us through the different challenges that life offers us. And may we one day also be ready as well to pass on from this life to the next with reassurance that the Lord is there waiting for us to welcome us into his heavenly kingdom. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. Please stand. Brothers and sisters, Jesus Christ is risen from the dead and sits at the right hand of the Father, where he intercedes for his church. Confident that God hears the voices of those who trust in the Lord Jesus, we join our prayers to his. By those who have the prayers of the faithful to come forward. Dear Lord, for those who suffer and those who care for them, especially nurses and those in the caring profession, as our mother was, may Christ bring them comfort and strength. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear Lord, Granny dedicated herself to her family who were very precious to her. They were the most important thing in her life and demonstrated a unity which is rare. Lord, help all families throughout the world grow in unity, love, and peace. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. Dear Lord, it is with utmost gratitude that we express our thanks to our extraordinary grandmother for blessing our lives with her loving presence. She was a strong, caring, and energetically willful woman May we be guided in staying true to the values that she taught us. Lord, hear us. Lord, graciously hear us. We ask you, Lord, to receive our prayers, those spoken and the unspoken. And we ask you as well to receive our prayers through the intercession, intercession of your mother Mary, whom Moira loved very dearly. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou amongst women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Please be seated. <laughs>
pray, my dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, to the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands. Praise and glory of his name for our good and the good of all his church. So we humbly present to you these sacrificial offerings, O Lord, for the salvation of your servant Moira. We beseech your mercy that she who did not doubt your son to be a loving Savior may find in him a merciful judge who lives and reigns forever and ever. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let's give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation always and everywhere to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through Christ our Lord, in him the hope of blessed resurrection has dawned, that those saddened by the certainty of dying might be consoled by the promise of immortality to come. Indeed, for your faithful Lord, life is changed, not ended. And when this earthly dwelling turns to dust, an eternal dwelling is made ready for them in heaven. And so with the angels and the archangels, with the thrones and dominions, with all the hosts of the powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory, as without end we acclaim, Holy, Holy, Holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory, Hosanna in the highest. As it is he who counts the name of the Lord, Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, a fount of all holiness. Make holy day for these gifts, we pray, by sending down your spirit upon them like the dewful, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. The time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. Let's proclaim the mystery of faith. Christ has died, Christ is risen, Christ will come again. Please stand. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis our Pope, Charles our Bishop, Joseph his auxiliary and all the clergy. Remember your servant Moira, whom you have called today from this world to yourself. Grant that she, who was united with your son in a death like his, may also be one with him, in his resurrection. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, Saint Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be coerced to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him, with him, and in him, O God Almighty Father, and the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Let's now pray with confidence to the Father the very same words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. 
Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by, your help, by the help of your mercy, may be always free from sin and safe from all for distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom and the power and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her the peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. To offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Jesus, the Lamb of God, takes away the sins of the world. Happy are those who are called to his supper. Lord, I am not worthy that you stand around my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Remind those who will be receiving communion to remain standing.
Let us pray. Please stand. Lord God, whose Son left us in the sacrament of his body, food for the journey, mercifully grant that strengthened by it, our sister Moira may come to the eternal table of Christ, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Trusting in God, we have prayed together for Moira, and now we come to the last farewell. There is sadness in parting, but we take comfort in the hope that one day we shall see Moira again and enjoy her friendship. Although this congregation will disperse in sorrow, the mercy of God will gather us together again in the joy of his kingdom. Therefore, let us console one another in the faith of Christ Jesus. Saints of God, come to her aid. Hasten to meet her, angels of the Lord. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. May Christ who called you take you to himself. May the angels lead you to the bosom of Abraham. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. At any rate, grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. Receive her soul and present her to God the Most High. To your hands, Father of mercy, we commend our sister Moira and the sure and certain hope that together, with all who have died in Christ, she will rise with him on the last day. We give you thanks for the blessings that you bestowed upon Moira in this life. They are signs to us of your goodness and of our fellowship with the saints in Christ. Merciful Lord, turn towards us and listen to our prayers. Open the gates of paradise to your servant and help us who remain to comfort one another with assurances of faith until we all meet in Christ and are with him and with our sister forever. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Eternal rest grant unto her, O Lord, and let perpetual light shine upon her. May she rest in peace. Amen. On behalf of Moira's family present, we'd like to thank all of you present here this morning for the celebration, celebration of the life of Moira, a long life, and I believe it's the eldest parishioner we had. Um, we bid her farewell, and we ask the Lord as well to welcome her into his loving arms. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Go in peace to love and serve the Lord. Thanks be to God.